Well, I was so drunk I can't remember. <laughs> Wild Geese 3. <laughs> Man, the myth, the methane. <laughs> I wanted to pretend that I wasn't feeling a little jolly belly. Oh, I'm a fan of uh, Star Trek. Next question. Yeah. <clears throat> um, as a director, oh. Oh. is there any specific theme or project that you wanted to help bring to life? There are so many. What a great question. There are. There's, a, there's so many great, um, great ideas and plays out there. Now, do you mean just in general, or do you mean, you mean in general? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things. I mean, I swear to God, I was thinking just as I was walking here, they were taking us the back way because an elevator had broken. I swear we could have just done a scary movie. <laughs> by the, I have never, if they had, if the guy had disappeared, I would be screaming, pounding on doors at this point in there. And I thought, what a great idea. You know, the guest at a con gets lost in the back, <laughs> right? Right? And someone who's a fan who doesn't like her, right? I mean, you know, it's like, this could be a good one. I was thinking, yeah, I could direct that. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, there's tons of things. Uh, but they're new scripts, and I get sent really interesting scripts. And then there's, you know, there's things that I, I watch. You can watch things now online. You can live stream so many shows. The Royal Shakespeare Company does extraordinary national theater company. They, they're streaming these shows, and they're, some of them are so brilliant. Not all of them, but some of them are so brilliant. And it, that's, that's the thing. Like, I just watched this phenomenal thing. Um, Simon McBurney, who's with this company called Complicité. It's one of my favorite companies. And it's actually, he's British. Uh, but he studied with the same man I studied with in France, uh, Jacques Lecoq. And he had, he's passed away for many years now, but he was truly a genius. And he made us all create. The work had to be new, you know, and we'd be with people from all different countries and we're like, we couldn't even speak the same damn language, you know, and we're all trying to come up with the same idea. I'll tell you. I could help on the healthcare thing now. Because you know, the way we had, we were like, no, I don't like that idea. Well, we had to come up with something. So we all had to compromise because we all shared the grade or whatever it was. Anyway, Simon McBurney and Complicite, he just worked with a company in Berlin. So you're watching subtitles and it's a live thing from Berlin. But they had taken it to the National Theater in England. So it's the National Theater put the subtitles so the people in, in London could read it. It was a phenomenal play and it was called Beware of Pity based on a book and it's really about taking responsibility. We, sometimes we do actions that we think are really good, but if they're actually out of protecting yourself, you can do a lot more harm than you could if you were just honest. And it's a really interesting thing, and I thought, wow. It really made me think, and I thought, that's cool. And how wonderful that I could stream that and see it. I mean, amazing, you know? And there was another one that that, that same company did where he was alone on stage, and he was basing it on this explorer's book of when he went into, I think it was in Papua New Guinea, he want, wanted to see, maybe somewhere, maybe it was the Amazon, I don't know, somewhere where no one had ever documented, he was a photojournalist, and he wanted to document this population. It was brilliant, because it's like apocalypse now, and what he was taught by this, you know, he thought he was going to be the one coming in, and I'm telling you, it's one person on stage, and it was a journey like, I couldn't believe it. I was just sitting there in my, you know, dining room table going, oh my God, you know, because like I didn't know what was going to happen. It was really cool. And that's the kind of stuff I love. I don't care what art form it is or whatever. When, when the audience, when we're all like on the edge of our seats, you know, we have a thing, some of my friends, instead of going to the theater and leaning back, like, okay, what's this show going to be? It's lean in. Lean in and participate. Be there present for the actors. <coughs> it doesn't mean you have to like it. But you, you know, be there. If you don't like it, then make a stand. You know, get up and leave at it. If you don't like it, right? And it, 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 I don't know. It's interesting. So you can see what a rebel rouser I am. It's. <laughs>